Alan Dershowitz, he doesn't like gun people a whole bunch, and I know he doesn't like guns. He recently said, if I could only rewrite the Constitution, I wouldn't put that Second Amendment in there. You know what? The Second Amendment, it was, uh, it's there because it's a good thing. The Constitution, including the Second Amendment, was created by geniuses. And they knew their stuff, so people like him to make those kind of statements make me crazy. I mean, hey, I've got my own little protest going on here. i got a gun range at my place. We have 11 acres, and we build a gun range. It's more than just a protest. We're we're having fun all of the time. Guns are good and good people do not do bad things in Seattle, though. They need to read the Constitution in particular. Of course, they need to read the Second Amendment. Oh, all of the counselors there said, hey, guns are bad. Good people with guns, they're bad too, I guess. Let's take their guns away, but in the meantime, until we get them, let's tax them out of existence. So they're now charging people uh, $25, that's a surtax in each gun sale, and they're charging five cents in each bullet sold within the city limits because they say this, we gotta pursue gun safety measures that will save lives, do you think? I <laughs> mean, ah, don't let a fact get in your way because that isn't the case in any way, shape, or form. The argument is never in good faith coming from the left. You know, they slander gun Owners, they lie about us. They, it's about power. They want the power, and and we have power because we have guns. And there's a law that says we can. And they're saying we got to get that power away. And the left believes that the government should have more power than the people. And they hate the Second Amendment. And they, they just hate the concept of people making choices for themselves. I just don't get it. Nobody will ever get it. But that's the deal. You know the deal. People have a fundamental and constitutional right to defend themselves and to go out and sports shoot and do whatever it is they want to do. And you know, other parts of the world, England, I mean, the guns are no good and people are no good. They're even taking knives away in Australia. Ugh, everybody's fighting. Canada has been like that because they've had a liberal government. The Canadian laws now, I got to tell you, in terms of guns, they're better than California. They're, they've come a long way. They do have a licensing program. They're no longer do they have a registration program. I just wanted to share with you this has got some information that's interesting. Stephen Blaney is Canada's Minister of Public Safety. He's tasked with everything from managing anti-terror you know, initiatives to legislate in all things gun-related. And recently he said, I'm going to fix this gun business because you can't penalize law-abiding people. And that's what you liberals have been doing. He goes on to say, we got to stop treating the most law-abiding citizens in this country like second-class Canadians. And then he goes on to say, even me, I have a gun license now. He went out and he actually became licensed and he's enjoying the sport. I mean, thank goodness. I mean, maybe there is one, right? <laughs> I mean, good things are happening. And he says, uh, you know, I've been a little busy with anti-terrorism measures lately, but soon, as soon as I can, I'm going to go hunting. And he respects the uh, rights of Canadians. So, you know, it is happening around the world. And the NRA has been so instrumental in, in kind of doing that big influence thing and, and got to love them. Hey, y'all come back. Next time, we'll have more talk about rights and freedom and guns overall. See ya.